In this video, I want to answer the question, what is project integration? Project integration is the glue that holds all the parts of your project together. It's somewhat abstract and it's often viewed by candidates for the PMI's examinations like CAPM and PMP as perhaps the hardest of the knowledge areas to get to grips with. And my general recommendation if you are studying for CAPM or PMP is to study the other nine knowledge areas first and then come back to project integration. Although it's the first of the knowledge areas described in PMBOK, I think if you understand the components, the other nine knowledge areas, then coming back to project integration, it starts to make really good sense how project integration ties them all together. Now, the concept of project integration exists in other methodologies too. It's just not named in the way that it is in the PMBOK. For example, all seven of the PRINCE2 project processes are, in a way, project integration processes. For PRINCE2, it's the project processes that tie the project together in the same way that project integration does within PMBOK. Let's have a look at the different views that uh, PMBOK and PRINCE2 take on the processes that form the, the project integration kind of cluster. Within PMBOK, we've got seven processes. And the first is to develop the project charter. The second is develop project management plan. Then direct and manage project work. Manage project knowledge. Monitor and control project work. Perform integrated change control. And finally, close the project or phase. PRINCE2 also has seven project processes. These seven form the whole set of project processes within PRINCE, but as I say, I think they all define project integration. The first of these is starting up the project. Then we've got directing a project, initiating a project, controlling a stage, managing product delivery, managing stage boundaries, and finally closing a project. I'll put up on screen now an image which shows how we might compare the two frameworks and you should be able to see clearly how similar the two frameworks are, even though they use very different terminology. And the fact that PMBOK identifies all of these as project integration, whilst PRINCE2 effectively says this is how you do a project. So what are some of the important things you need to think about when you're doing project integration? Well, I think it all starts with thinking about the right project approach for your particular project in the context of the organization you're working in and a range of different priorities. And to all intents and purposes, you're probably looking at somewhere on a spectrum of different approaches to the project, which one might characterize uh, as going from traditional, predictive, planned project management at one end of the scale and incremental, iterative, agile project management at the other. Clearly, another important aspect of project integration is understanding the interdependencies between different aspects of your project and, of course, how the project integrates with different aspects of the organization and other projects that are going on. So you're looking at dependencies, you're looking at constraints, uh, you're looking at the assumptions that go around the whole project. Another important consideration is the handoffs between different stages in the project and between different project processes. And although for my tastes, PMBOK says far too little about project governance, I would say that what it does say is and belongs firmly in the project integration knowledge area and group of processes. 
So although Pimbok doesn't say much about stage gates or the gateway process, which of course Prince 2 is particularly strong on, managing those handoffs between project stages through stage gates or project gateways is a key part of project integration in the way that I understand good project management. So project integration is the means by which you bring together all of your project management into a coherent whole. To fully understand project integration, therefore, you need a broad knowledge and understanding of project management. But once you've got that, once you've read the rest of Pimbok and understood it and practiced it through your project experience, then project integration starts to make good sense. It starts to feel almost intuitive. Because you know how all the moving parts work, it's very easy to see how they work together. So that's what project integration is all about. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button to learn of new videos as soon as they land. And please do visit onlinepmcourses.com where we have a wealth of free and paid resources for project managers.